<laughs> Am I too old to be a plumber? Well, number one, if you're asking that question, I want to know why. I want you to hang around till the end of this video and listen to my big tip to tell you, no, you're not. Here's the deal. I get asked that question a lot. People want to get into plumbing. Why? Because the future of plumbing looks great. We're always going to have wonderful jobs, and there's going to be plenty of them because we don't have as many people that want to show up and work. Okay? Hard work, yeah, it's part of the system. But you know what? Learn to work smarter and not harder. Plumbing is a great career, and if you want to be a plumber, I'm going to tell you, unless you're in the old folks' home, you're probably not too old. Now, think about it this way. You are going to be older and more mature than the apprentices that are most of them are coming in, correct? So think about it this way. You're going to have a better work ethic. You're going to understand what it takes to study. Most of these kids right out of high school, they just want a paycheck. They don't want a job. They don't want a career. They don't want a profession. They want a paycheck. That's all they want. My son came to me not long out of high school and says, hey, dad, look, I want to get in the union. And I said, look, not yet. I don't think you're ready yet. Go get a job at a machine shop. Go get a job at another plumbing company. Go get a job that if you're late, if you're in trouble, if you get fired, it's not going to be a big deal. And he did. And you know what? After a while, he understood it. He came back and said, look, now I'm ready. Now I get it. And he's done fantastic. He's an estimator for one of the largest mechanical contractors in this area. I can't even get him to come to work for me because he loves working over there. He is doing good. You know what, though? When he was young, he would have come in and messed up the opportunity. So think about it. Are you willing to work harder? Are you willing to work smarter? And are you willing to learn faster than the other people getting into the apprentice program? Have you been doing DIY plumbing? If you can do your plumbing around the house, if you can change out cartridges and you can change out fixtures, what makes you think you're too old to come out and do that for a living? And I ask that because as a residential service company, I'm always looking for people that know how to do things, that are willing to learn, and they're willing to come in and work harder. And what I mean by working harder isn't necessarily just, hey, can you pick up that water heater by yourself? They understand you've got to have a little pep in your step. You've got to move. You have to show, hey, look, we're under a crunch here. We need to get things done, and I know how to move faster. If you go out to the van to get a tool and you realize there's another part they're going to need, do you grab it too? To me, that's working harder. Really, it's working smarter, but it leads to getting the job done quicker, and that's what we're all looking for. Most of y'all know I was an instructor in the union here. The good thing about it is I had apprentices in there that were 55 years old. Did you hear that? 55. Holy f***. Jeez, I'm going to be an old f***ing man. They were out working on commercial jobs. Here's the thing. Learn any plumbing hacks, plumbing tricks. Learn anything you can to help you do things smarter. My whole career, I have always tried to get a better education. What can I do to learn faster? What can I learn to do better? What can I learn that's going to help separate me from the other apprentices or plumbers or foreman or superintendent on the jobs or at the companies I'm working at? Are you too old? What do you think? Do you think that you're too old to do this for a living? Because I'm almost 60 and I'm still out doing it. Could I be learning it right now? Absolutely. And if this was the greatest career opportunity ahead of me, I could step in now and still do what I'm doing. Is it going to be harder as an apprentice? Absolutely. You're going to be the grunt guy. You may have to dig a hole. You may have to help dig a ditch. You may have to cut pipe. You may have to do the stuff that the plumber hopefully is busy working on other things, but you may have to do the stuff that should be well, the menial tasks. Hey, cut this, do this, put this away, clean this up. That's okay. You're going to grow. You're going to learn. As an older person, I think you've got a better opportunity to do well. You have a better opportunity to exceed. I teach people in my videos what they need to learn in order to learn the plumbing profession. Learn the code books. Learn how to do things. I mean, you're here right now watching a video that's going to help you learn, and it's going to help make you better. I did a video just the other day. My big tip at the end was be better. What can you do to make yourself better to help you do the job better? So that 
really sums it up. You can do this job if you want to. Now, my biggest tip, my biggest trick for becoming an apprentice or getting into the trade, take care of yourself. Understand that you need to take care of your body. And when you're down working on your knees, think about knee pads. When you're climbing under a sink, think about how is my body going to be positioned and what can I do to alleviate the pain on it? Because let me tell you what, sometimes we're in a bad position. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes we've got to crawl around under pier and beam houses or in tunnels under houses. It's not easy, but try to be in the best shape that you can be in. And that's up to you. Watch what you eat. Watch what kind of rest you get. And if you need to, exercise a little bit. Ride a bicycle, go to the gym, walk on a treadmill. Taking care of your body is going to help you in this trade, this profession, better than anything. Because if you take care of your body, you're taking care of your mind, and you're going to learn faster, you're going to do better. If you're in the trade already, and you're watching this because you understand how crazy it is that someone would ask, am I too old to become a plumber? Do me a favor and leave me a comment down below. How old were you when you got into the trade? And how's it been? Am I right? Well, taking care of your body helped make this a better career for anybody. Guys, if you hadn't done so yet, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything because I am putting out good videos that's going to help you in your plumbing career. I'm Roger Wakefield, Elite AP, the expert plumber, and I'll see you on the next video if you don't get flushed.